That nutrient solution is perfect. I want to feed it to some plants. In this video today, we're going to be showing you how to mix the Kronk Trio nutrient system for your plants during the flowering phase. Hi, for those that are new here, my name is Cortland Kronk and I am the founder and owner of Kronk Pro Nutrients. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to properly mix up the Kronk Trio nutrient system. Ba, 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 ba. Mixing your nutrients properly will ensure an optimal nutrient solution to feed to your plants. Improper nutrient mixing can lead to nutrient lockout in the solution itself. Basically what this means is that your nutrients will become unusable to your plants. Here at Kronk Pro Nutrients, we recommend mixing your nutrients into reverse osmosis water or RO water. The reason for this is basically it gives you a blank slate. Um, you have a zero ppm to start out with, um, which will allow you to have an optimal nutrient solution. If you don't have RO water, that's completely fine. You can still follow these steps and have an amazing harvest. So first, you're gonna to wanna to grab your bucket that you're gonna be mixing your nutrients into and make sure it's filled with water. Bam, baby, boom, ooh, sexy. Today we're gonna to be mixing our nutrients into five gallons or 19 liters of water. Now that you've got your bucket ready, it's time to start mixing your nutrients in. If you're using RO water at Kronk Pro Nutrients, we recommend adding in your CalMag first if you're using it. When mixing your nutrients, you always want to make sure you give your bottle a good shake. Um, this will just ensure that if there is any sediment at the bottom of the bottle, you'll get an even nutrient solution when you're mixing. This goes for all the bottles, so whenever you're mixing your nutrients, always give your bottles a good shake. So we're going to start with the CalMeg. So what you want to do is you want to grab uh, something that you can measure your nutrients with, just like this beaker that I have. So with our CalMeg, we're going to want to mix in 4 milliliters per gallon or 1 milliliter per liter of water. Since we're using 5 gallons of water or 19 liters, we're going to be mixing in 20 milliliters of CalMeg into our solution. I'm going to pour this right to the 20 sign. And there we go. We've got 20 milliliters of CalMeg. So I'm going to add this into my solution and I'm going to give it a good mix. Every time when you're mixing your nutrients, before you put another nutrient in, always give your water a good mix. Now with adding CalMeg in there first, what we like to do is actually let it sit for about five minutes, just so that way the CalMeg can actually bond to the water before you start adding all your other nutrients in. Man, I love the smell of our CalMeg. It has like a minty smell almost. It smells delicious. Now after adding your CalMeg and you've let it sit for five minutes, it's time to move on to your base nutrients. So next, you're gonna wanna grab your micro. Again, give your bottle a good shake before mixing it into the solution. Another thing too, is before you mix any more nutrients into here or pour any nutrients into here, make sure to rinse this out. We're gonna be mixing all of our nutrients today based on the first week of flour. I'll leave a link in the description below to our full feed chart. So we're gonna measure out eight milliliters per gallon or two milliliters per liter of our micro. In this case, since we're using five gallons of water, we're gonna be mixing in 40 milliliters of micro. So again, I'm gonna put my funnel in here. I'm gonna bring this right up to the 40 mark. And we're just gonna pour this right in here. And I'm just gonna use some of this water to get rid of the bottom. And I've got a spatula so we can give it a good mix. So you wanna give this a good mix before adding any other nutrients. So now that you've mixed your micro, it's time to mix in your grow. Again, give your bottle a good shake. So during this stage of the plant's life, um, first week of flower, this only calls for six milliliters per gallon or 1.5 milliliters per liter. So we're gonna add 30 um, milliliters because we're mixing in five gallons of water. Boom, there we go. Perfect measuring going on right there. So we've got 30 milliliters of grow and we're gonna be adding into our solution. And again, I'm gonna give this a good mix. So last but not least of our trio is our bloom. During the flower phase, you are gonna to have to adjust the amount of bloom, micro, and grow that you're using. So again, I'm gonna link the full feed chart in the description below, so that way you can see a detailed outline. So for the first week of flour, we're gonna also mix out six milliliters per gallon or 1.5 milliliters per liter into our bucket here. So we're gonna take our bloom and we're gonna mix in 30 milliliters for our five gallons of water. And boom, pour that in there, give it a good stir, get the bottom out. There we 
go. Sometimes I use this as a mixer, but this works better. So again, give it a good stir for about, you know, 15 to 30 seconds. So now that you've mixed all your nutrients into your water, you're almost ready to feed. The next step is to check your pH. So if you're growing in soil, you want your pH to be between six and seven. If you're growing hydroponically, anywhere between 5.5 to 6.5 is an optimal pH. So I have my blue lab meter here and uh, we have our pH probe and we have our PPM probe. Um, if you haven't seen our video on this blue lab meter, I'll link it right up here and you can check that out. Definitely recommend one of these. So after mixing all those nutrients in, we're sitting at a rate around 6.3. So once you're done checking the pH of your nutrient solution and everything is good to go, you're ready to feed it to your plants. If you have any more questions, comment below or send us an email at help at cronkgrownutrients.com. I'll link that in the description. Never hesitate to reach out to us. We're always here to answer any questions you have. We'll also link all the products that we use for growing down in the description below. If you aren't already subscribed, please hit, hit that subscribe button, like this video if you found it useful, and comment below on a video that you'd like to see next. As always guys, thanks for watching and happy growing. I kinda hammered, I hammered the lid on and I shouldn't have. I hammered the lid on and I shouldn't have. And now I can't get it off like I should have. And now I gotta pry the bottle off. And now it doesn't gonna come off as it should. Boom! Shit!